hello my dear students uh, now we will heading on to the next experiment experiment number 2 in previous experiment we have learned about the uh, experimental data collections and uh, operation of Khan oscillator uh, today we will discuss on a modulator and crystal detector so the objective of this experiment is to learn the basic theory and operation of pi and diode modulator and also learn the basic theory and the operation of the crystal detector so what is uh, the pi and diode a pi and di pi and diode is constructed with uh, a thin insulator sandwiched between p and n materials just like a simple diode system and uh, this pi and diode is a high resistive and capacitive device in the microwave frequencies it's a, it has a bias in the bias condition uh, it shows high resistivity and capacitivity uh, on its own uh, frequency microwave frequency of its operating frequency it is an avalanche effect device and you know uh, that is what is the avalanche effect of diode so that is uh, quite closer to it and uh, for this uh, that uh, it's then uh, under forward bias condition an avalanche effect takes place in the in the insulator allowing holes from p and electrons in to flow uh, the insulator becomes effectively conductive uh, so uh, there uh, there is the construction equivalent circuit of a pi and diode so as you can see here uh, that is the uh, construction of uh, a pi and diode and if you just uh, zoom it uh, you just uh, zoom it in the contract uh, just uh, zoom the picture to understand clearly now you will zoom it as you can see here, uh, that is the uh, construction of the uh, pi and diode. There is a gold contact wire, there is a copper base, and there are two gold contacts in each part. And uh, there is a pi and diode because uh, there is the n doped channel, that is the p doped channel. Uh, both substrates are has been uh, uh, connected to each other. So that is one kind of a diode with avalanche effect when it is put forward bias. So that is the equivalent circuit of uh, this uh, construction. So you can see that is the CP, this capacitance, capacitance between two poles uh, from the previous uh, this pole uh, to that pole, copper base to the gold wire uh, contact. So that's the capacitivity between, between these two. And uh, here you can see they are uh, a P junction and also the N junction in that part of uh, contact and uh, for that uh, we get two um, impedances that is the uh, junction resistance and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> there is the junction resistance and junction capacitance and there is the uh, semiconductor resistance and that is the uh, package inductance and the package capacitance means that is the total capacitance of uh, that uh, diode and uh, package capacitance of total and package inductance has been uh, in the series part of uh, series to, to its uh, semiconductor resistance that uh, in the semiconductor part uh, so in that particular part at uh, the uh, diffusion part the resistance uh, occurs so there is a semiconductor resistance and there is a series contact. Uh, there is there is, a, there is a series contact, and there are two parallel uh, resistance and capacitance. That is then that is known as a junction resistance junction capacitance. That means that creates on the uh, junction side. As you can see, this side at this point in the junction point, uh, this uh, impedance causes causes, and uh, and the other 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 part of uh, that junction that creates that RSLP and the total. Uh, capacitance of the circuit indicates uh, indicated by, indicate by the uh, CP and that is a reverse biased PI and diode that is the forward biased PI and diode so it is a in general uh, it is in general uh, equivalent circuitry but uh, when it comes to reverse bias condition uh, then uh, the the semiconductor resistance uh, and uh, there is a junction resistance the jun there will there will be no junction resistance on it it will be removed and you can see here others are on the parts and uh, if you just uh, uh, go through to the forward biased condition 
then uh, the uh, this uh, this resistance will go through to it and the capacitance will be removed there is no capacitor here just uh, there is a rf resistance the resistance of uh, uh, the resistance of junction and semiconductor both uh, has been calculated to each other that has been uh, taken as an equivalent resistance and there is a variable resistance to vary uh, in forward bias by, uh, conditions now uh, going uh, forward to that there are another effect that is a crystal detector so uh, what is crystal detector uh, in uh, microwave frequency that is the uh, circuitry of crystal detector so uh, in that particular point there is a diode and uh, two uh, and you can see there is a inductor side which is the capacitor side as you can know as you know in microwave input side uh, there is a high pass filter that is a high pass filter that has been created as a high pass filter and that has been created as the low pass filter uh, with an inductor and that is the dc output uh, as uh, as the microwave input goes through to the filter that after low pass filtering you will get the dc output so how uh, you can get the dc output as you know it it is an uh, ac output ac signal that the microwave input and it go through to the high pass filter uh, to just uh, as you know that microwave uh, frequencies are quite higher uh, than uh, that is operated in the gigahertz range as it is uh, as as it is operates in the gigahertz range so uh, we should have to use the high pass filter in the input side of the microwave uh, energy uh, in input side in the microwave energy or microwave waveguide and then there is a diode the, this diode uh, works as an a rectifier as as a sorry uh, works as a rectifier uh, by this we get the rectified signal and by rectify the low uh, rectified uh, after filtering the rectified signal we get the dc output that's kind of square wave outputs or dc outputs we will get through to this so that is uh, uh, the crystal diode so it's one kind of uh, it's crystal detector as you can say uh, the detector uh, is a device capable of detecting microwave signals based on the square law characteristics that means it is uh, it, it detects it detects the microwave signals and uh, sometimes a bolometer is used for microwave detection as is, as you know that is uh, one of one kind of uh, the detector of uh, microwave frequencies but uh, the device mainly intended for microwave power measurements but if you want to know uh, the microwave signal characteristics just uh, to understand the square law characteristics that is not only take the power but also uh, other characteristics you have to calculate other characteristics so you have to go through to the crystal detector that is the point contact to germanium or silicon crystal diodes are most popular of crystal detectors so you can uh, find it out that how the characteristics will be here you can see that uh, the uh, characteristic vi characteristics of crystal diode in forward bias condition uh, that is the uh, for forward voltage the current will be increased and uh, there are uh, some uh, slope changes between the uh, as regards uh, for the um, as you can say uh, that is the change in the temperature on it so uh, the reverse bias condition in reverse bias current uh, that is the slopes are quite uh, uh, quite clear to the parallel to the reverse voltage side but uh, in forward uh, voltage side that is quite leaning to the forward current side so that is one of the basic uh, differences between uh, the uh, reverse voltage and forward voltage con uh, conditions for the vi characteristics and that is the uh, taylor series of the power that to calculate the power of that uh, circuitry so as it on that is the equivalent circuit of the detectors as you can see so that is the uh, basics of uh, this uh, circuitry so that is the end of the uh, second experiment theory